Have you ever recorded a video in Camtasia Rev, but once you were done, decided you wanted to change the layout a bit? But you couldn't get back into Rev. Previously, you'd get thrown into the Camtasia editor and were out of luck if you wanted changes. But now, you can apply and change Rev effects even after you've finished recording. If you don't have the latest version of Camtasia, we've put a link in the description. You're gonna need it for this one. I'm gonna start from scratch and show you how to incorporate your recording with additional separate footage imported into Rev later. In the Camtasia recorder, I make sure I've got the screen, camera, mic, and system audio, as well as Rev, of course, all toggled on. Hit record, say a few words to demonstrate how this works, and then we'll move on. We're testing how the new Camtasia Rev works with the import to Rev feature. After I've recorded, Rev drops everything into separate tracks on my timeline. Then I decide I want to change a couple of effects. To bring it all back into Rev, I right-click the media in the bin and select Import to Camtasia Rev. And just like that, we're back in. I can change the effects or maybe choose a new layout. This background doesn't really complement my footage, so I'm going to choose one that does. And again, I'll hit Edit in Camtasia when done. Let's say I'm happy with it and realized I'd previously filmed some B-roll footage that would work great here but when I simply place it on my timeline, it doesn't match my new style that I've set up with the recording. Instead of just dropping it on the timeline, right-click that additional footage in the media bin and choose Import to Camtasia Rev. With Import to Rev, you are limited to one file at a time. However, if you're bringing in previous Camtasia recordings, known as T-Rec files, it'll recognize the separate video tracks. Add the layout, background, and effects you want to this new footage, and click Edit in Camtasia when done. Pro tip, if you kept the same dynamic background throughout your video, when you're back on your timeline, delete all but one of them. Camtasia's dynamic backgrounds are unlike any you've ever worked with. They don't need to be copied and pasted so that they appear to loop. They actually loop infinitely. From your timeline track that the background lives on, make sure it's extended to the beginning and end of your timeline. It looks cleaner on your timeline, but more importantly, it won't be choppy. Speaking of dynamic backgrounds, you can also select that track and over in the properties panel, you're gonna get sliders that are different depending on which background you've selected. You can change the size, speed, and a variety of color options. Most backgrounds offer similar customizations, but play around with them until you get a unique background that you're happy with. In this video, we started from scratch. If you are too, you may notice the home screen even includes a new, open file in Camtasia Rev button. So now there are two ways to start your videos with Camtasia Rev. There you have it. Now you took this basic footage and created this with Camtasia Rev. Tell us in the comments if you've been waiting for this workflow to be released, or if this is the first time you're hearing about Rev. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.